Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading day. We have the 30th of August 2018. That's a uh, Thursday. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so uh, let's uh, try and decipher exactly what's going on here. Uh, again, uh, divergence between European and US markets as well. Also, Asian markets. US markets are on some sort of potential trajectory of absolutely no idea where they're trying to uh, travel to at present breaking to new highs whilst uh, European markets are lackluster and also Asian markets certainly going in the opposite direction uh, we have had potential uh, uh, comments with regards to trade talks uh, between China and uh, America obviously we've got the NAFTA agreement there being um, carved out again uh, certainly being uh, rejected and carved out again uh, according to Trump's potential uh, fingerprint there okay now uh, in terms of Canada, that certainly is the uh, the last uh, individual left with regards to that deal. It looks like it is going to be potentially signed, hence the reason why the S&P certainly has front run that. And you can see the S&P certainly ramping higher, breaking past that 2900. And the Nasdaq as well are shooting higher too. Now, uh, certainly are factoring a potential trade deal scenario. This morning, we have had concerns with the Turkish lira falling again. Uh, in terms of economic data of Europe, you've had uh, weaker uh, inflation numbers, okay, that certainly should keep the euro at bay. We've got concerns regarding Italy, which already have been there for quite quite a few days now, but yet uh, US markets are totally negating that altogether. Uh, in terms of European uh, data, overall relatively weak, business climate weak, economic indicators, uh, sentiment weak, industrial confidence more or less in line, services weak, and consumer confidence weaker as well. And again, like I said, in Germany, inflation numbers certainly coming in on the weaker side. The concerns with regards to no deal Brexit remains, okay, that certainly remains a central theme, but a lot of that certainly has been factored in with the FTSE touching that 7500 level. So uh, that's basically a status quo there. Let's just bring up the FTSE 100 for you. As you can see here, we're bouncing off that gap fill zone. Uh, daily chart, you've got a double bottom here. You've got 200 MA just below as well. So can the FTSE bounce from here? That's a question. Okay, especially given, given the fact that oil prices certainly remain higher as well. And as you can see here, 60-minute chart putting in a potential bottoming tail here. 10 minute chart certainly you are creating a bottom around the 7498 zone okay you've got gap fill exactly at 7500 so obviously we've closed that now if you do potentially pop higher then you are looking at 7544 potentially testing that zone uh, watch out for that uh, key uh, previous support equals resistance there we've got gap fill uh, around 7563 so i even i was quite surprised given the fact that the s p dropped that significantly given the fact that uh, s and S&P 500 broke the 2900 zone, so it certainly needs to play catch up from that perspective. European equities certainly under pressure as well. Uh, German DAX flushing quite substantially. Uh, the uh, market actually gap lower, which was quite um, strange given the fact that US equities certainly moved higher, hence the reason why I referred to the divergence. Now we've actually gone and closed the gap at 12935. Can we bounce from there? That's the question on the 60 minute chart. 60 uh, minute charts, you can see here, gap fill. Uh, now again, you've got unfilled gap above, and then you've got the unfilled gap uh, at first. You've got unfilled gap at 12, 9, 12, 5, 60, and then you've got uh, unfilled gap at 12, 6, 70. So watch out for the both of those above. In terms of uh, the uh, French CAC, let's just bring up the French CAC for you. French CAC obviously flushing as well. All prices should keep the French CAC uh, uh, supported. Ever since we've obviously closed that gap, we've been weak ever since. So again, bear that in mind for the French CAC. Now, last but, last, last but not least, we've got the Euro stocks. As always, uh, Euro stocks exceptionally weak today. I was expecting the gap to potentially be filled above, and that certainly hasn't been the case. We've hit a pivot low of 3423. We've closed the gap at 3427. I was expecting that gap to close yesterday, but uh, we certainly have uh, closed it today, even with S&P moving to new highs. So again, quite a confusing picture there. Uh, again, I was expecting, given the fact that the S&P and the Nasdaq are moved to new highs, I was expecting the gap to close at 3494. That hasn't been the case, okay? That hasn't been the case. So that's basically where we stand at present, okay? So uh, uh, again, for the remainder of the day, uh, yesterday stronger GDP numbers as well, certainly failing to keep the European equities higher, uh, as uh, it certainly seems like it's uh, a zero-sum game. One individual obviously uh, wins, and other individual is losing. And as you can clearly see here, Europe certainly is losing at present, okay? Even though the fact that that euro, euro obviously hit a low of 1.14, at one time 1.15 and that still failed to stimulate any potential uh, demand for exports and revive the eurozone economy so uh, again ongoing concerns regarding china but given the fact that we had po po potential positive news with site with some type of resolution that should certainly help risk from that uh, perspective and also given the fact that the s p 
has broken that 2900 level as you can see here extremely bullish and that should certainly help sentiment globally okay on that note please be sure to visit uh, cfds.com for your trading needs certainly take advantage of that bonus and be sure to visit trade signals uh, signals and market updates from leading providers goodbye now.